Another day, another games journalist melting down, showing us who they really are, and I am so happy to see it. As I responded to this weirdo on Twitter, and I simply said, please keep tweeting. Just please keep tweeting. Because the more they talk, the more they run their mouths, the more that they prove all gamers right, and gamers are sick and tired of this. We have seen all of our favorite properties, from comics and movies and television shows just overrun by this garbage. And of course, it's been going on in gaming for a while too, but they finally have overstepped and gamers are just sick of it. They're not going to take it. They're not going to allow this anymore. And it is beautiful to witness. So here you have BBC gaming presenter Jules Hardy calls for current Sweet Baby Inc. discourse to end with a final purge of ideological opponents from the medium. Wow, a final purge. Of course, this person does have pronouns. Of course, this person has pronouns. Um, let's see, can we agree that a round two of this, uh, it can be a final purge of these kind of gamers? In 2024, I've been arguing about this for decades. Can we uh, have a last full detox of these dudes so we can get back to positive gaming community we have created. I mean, first of all, like, that was painful to read for many different reasons. And, of course, uh, she's retweeting the Black Girl Gamers tweet. Um, we got you really pressed just by existing, LOL. We've never worked with Sweet Baby Inc. You all saw black and consulting and decided that we all work together. Sounds like racism. We're not stopping, so have fun. Black girl gamers. And I just, you know, I just said, please keep tweeting. Just thank you. Please keep tweeting. Melanie Max says, aka, you want to purge real gamers in favor of activists who can't uh, hang in multiplayer lobbies without having a meltdown or who can't navigate a single player game without yellow paint, uh, yellow paint, shiny ledges and the character telling them what to do. Absolutely massacred on the ratio by Melanie Mac there. Absolutely massacred. Uh, in the view of BBC Gaming presenter Jules Harvey Hardy, the best way for the current discourse surrounding Sweet Baby Inc. is to resolve itself would be for a final purge of those players who are critical of the general presence of diversity, equity, and inclusion focused consultation companies within the game industry. So again, what does final purge mean? I really want to know your specifics of what you mean by final purge. What, oh, what could you mean by that? Uh, Hardy, perhaps known to viewers of the government-funded uh, British programming network for having her uh, served as the host of 2021's Top Gear Gaming Show and 2017's The Gaming Show shared her opinion on the aforementioned debate on March 22nd in response to a tweet from the narrative consulted or consultation company Black Girl Gamers. Oh my God, there's Will Wheaton. I just noticed that. Will Wheaton, another insane psychopathic leftist. Like, I'm sure if you're watching this video, you know all about Will Wheaton. That dude is gone. Holy crap. Retweeting a now deleted user uh, in which they uh, proposed the creation of a Steam curator page similar to the Sweet Baby Inc. detected group uh, meant to inform customers of the games in which black girl gamers had worked on. And I fully encourage that idea. Obviously, Sweet Baby Inc. detected has been a massive success for Cabrutus. And it's really, uh, you know, giving gamers insight into, OK, well, these are the games that Sweet Baby Inc. is involved in. So if you choose to, as a customer, stay away from that, that's completely your prerogative and clearly you don't have to you can kind of do whatever you want with your money and your time it's just giving people information so that they can make an educated decision with their money and apparently that's toxic apparently that's racist apparently that's a terrible thing from the activist side of things um and so yeah so really what this comes down to is i'm really curious what the purge actually does mean uh, right here is from grums and, and he says why are they all this way and of course this is you know jules right here and then you go over to uh this chick right here just wait until they notice that none of our starting characters in our alpha build are white males none out of six First of all, why are you telling people this? 
Secondly, that's racist. I mean, again, I don't really care what people say. And again, I want to make this clear. I don't care that there's a video game out there that people want to do this. Uh, do your thing. My problem is, is that it can't exist in the opposite. And in a free market of ideas, if people can make whatever games they want with whatever characters they want, with whatever diversity and gender breakdowns or whatever, let the free market of ideas go out there. But the problem is, is people like this person, if someone was to make a video game and except flip black and white and make the same tweet, that person would be ran out of the games industry, would be canceled. All their sponsors would be harassed. Um, they would be doxxed. Their family would be threatened because it's not a free market of ideas. Um, and that's the whole problem with this. Like, so when I see something like this and I'm going to go, well, okay, let's, let's use the rules and the logic that you, the left wing lunatic have implemented. Let's go by your own rules and logic and by your own rules and logic, this is a racist and it should not be allowed. And if this is okay, then it should be okay with everything flipped in reverse. If someone chooses to do that. That is the problem. It's the hypocrisy that I have a problem with. I truly don't care what people believe, what people do, as long as it's not illegal, as long as you're not actually physically harming people. I don't care what you do. It doesn't matter to me. Um, obviously, this is uh, Kim Belair talking about how they threaten people. Uh, with the Sweet Baby Ink stuff, and this is really what took it to another level when people started looking into this company. They all have this same exact mindset. Sweet Baby Ink CEO Kim Blair admits she wanted to take over the video game industry. Take over the video game industry. You want to? I would love for her to explain what that means. What does take over the video game industry mean? Because we 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 know that. They don't want to take over the video game industry in terms of like, we want to make games that, you know, the entire industry loves. No, you want to take it over from your diversity, inclusion, and representation bullshit. You're looking to hijack the industry is what you're trying to do. You're looking to hijack it. And that's ultimately what this comes down to. So again... Gamergate 2 is just getting started. I am having a lot of fun following all of this stuff and watching all of this play out right before our very eyes. It is funny. And again, I just want to say one more time, please keep tweeting. Please keep running your mouth. I quote tweeted uh, this chick and I said, nobody cares about what kind of sex you have. Just stop telling kids about it. I mean, I think that's a pretty simple, direct response to these clowns. But of course... They aren't going to listen to that. They don't care. They don't care about a simple, level-headed response. They are worried about being fake and professional victims over and over and over again, and that's what they're going to continue to do. So, gamers, rise up. It is beautiful to witness. You guys let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you very much for checking out this video, and we will talk to you later.